Hi, welcome to Informatica support videos. Today we are going to go through connecting to Kerberos cluster from developer client with Informatica BDM. My name is Sarvan Padmanabhan and I am a support engineer at Informatica GCS. When we say developer client and Hadoop Kerberos configuration, we have three important tasks to do. One is place the GitHub file and the krv5.conf file in the client machine. The second one is we would have to run the kinit command from the command line of the developer client machine. We have to place the site XMLs within the Informatica client install location slash developer client slash Hadoop slash distribution slash conf directory. And then we can open the developer client and test the connection. Now let's go to the demo. In here, I have my krb5.conf file. The krb5.conf has to be renamed to krb5.ini and it needs to be placed within the c colon slash windows location. If you see, I have my key tab file also placed in the same location. Coming back to the krb5.ini, the krb5.ini has an option called forwardable which determines if the minus f option needs to be set when running the kinet command or not. So if the forwardable is equal to true, then the minus f option has to be used when running the kinet command. Now let's go to running the kinet command. Before running the knet command, I need to set the path to the Informatica client slash Java bin location from where the knet can be picked up into the path location. And once we do that, we can run the knet command like this with these options k in it space minus k space minus f space minus t the location of the ktab file in my case the ktab file is the same as where the krb5.ini is placed so it is c colon slash windows and then i give the hadoop kerberos service principal name so once i hit enter it has generated a new ticket and it has stored within the cache file location this ticket generation and stored in the cache file location indicates a successful key in it. Once we do this, we need to go back to the developer client folder, go into Hadoop, the distribution, conf directory, and place the site XMLs also on there. The important files here are the core site XML, HDFS, Hive site, and also the on site XML. Now I'm going to go back to my Informatica developer. Show connections. Open the Hive connection. I know this is a Kerberized Hive connection from here, wherein there is a Hive principle which is defined with the same Kerberos realm as what I had in my client's krv5.conf. Note, however, these details will get generated once you run the BDM util and create the connection for the Hive connection. So you can go ahead and run a test connection. and the text connection for, for the Marietta settings is successful. You can click on OK here, and click on OK. 
and you are all set to go ahead and input a new hype data object. As part of these steps, if you have any questions or if you need any clarification, you can go ahead and refer the Informatica BDM security guide. The detailed set of steps are given in chapter 2. This is for your reference. If there is any issue in uh, running the KNet or if the Kerberos configuration is not working or if you would like us to change something on the video, if you would love to hear your feedback, please do write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also tweet us back at twitter.com slash for support. Thank you so much for your time.